Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Jasmine. For those of you who are current subscribers, um, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I will be replacing my fan filter for my Ricoh RI1000 DTG printer. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this, then please keep watching. <music> So when you see this up here, it means it's time for you to replace your fan filter. So this right here is the top of the printer. And this little slot right here is where you're going to replace your fan filter from. So there's two knobs back here that you're going to undo. So you're going to twist those. The same thing over here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift it up and take it out. These are the two fan filters that you're gonna replace. So you do the same thing, you take the little knobs out. <laughs> replace them with the new ones so um, I actually get these also from Garmin Printer Inc um, if you're not familiar with them if you go to GarminPrinterInc.com um, when you check out if you use code creative jazz 10 you'll get 10% off your purchase so um, I got a discount code to use for you guys if you guys decide to use them um, this is where I buy my my fan filters from so then the same thing you put it back inside and then you just put the screws back in pretty easy to do not hard at all my husband had changed them for me the first two times and then I just decided to do it myself because it's pretty easy. But yeah, the more you use it, the more you're gonna the more frequent you're gonna have to change it. Um, but it warns you on the screen when it's time. But as soon as it starts warning you, you definitely wanna make sure you change it. Then what you'll do, you'll go here and you're gonna go and hit okay. Trying to get to the right screen here. So you see how it's red? Cause it's ready to change. Since we already did that, I'm gonna put replace. Sure you wanna run this, you say yes. And it's all set and that was it. All right guys, sorry that video was very short, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, don't forget to put the little knobs on the back after you're done closing it, which I just did right now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a current subscriber, please consider subscribing and make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I will be back to printing my shirts. This is what I have to do today, but I wanted to make sure to change that fan filter before I got started. So I will see you guys in my next one.